Good morning, friends. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Please take your seats and listen to our play. Come with me now to Storybrook, a land that's far away. Our Fura's Bold and Villain's Vow, we have a tale to tell. And because he's a pantomime, you know all that ends well. The stage is set and the players are here. For Fairy Twinkle Toad. Do you know where she, where she, where, where is she? We are here now, and your assistance. Oh, drat, I forgot about you. You fairy, I don't like a fairy. Look here, darling, all of these pretty funny things is out of date, but never mind. That's, I've got to get, get this pantomime started. Before I can do anything else, actually, <coughs> you can do it. Do you know the right spell? I think so. Very economy. Just say that. A Oh, no, no, no. What do they teach you these days? Watch. Raise the kettles and start the fun. Our trip to Storybrook has begun. superior outfit and we've got the palace of camp. However, <laughs> <laughs> however the king is slow to pay his bills and there are many of us to feed and the money doesn't go far. There are my two sons Jack and Simon. Well they're a, they're a pair of useless lumps. And of course there's Daisy our cow. I don't know what I'm going to do if the king doesn't pay up soon. They say money isn't everything, but it doesn't have help. Yeah. 
the walk back. I will. I can do it for her. Bye. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? I'm going, I'm going to see Princess Rose back to the cat palace. She she can't carry all that milk by herself. As long as you promise to see the king there and get some money from him for all the milk he's had. Princess Rose, wait up for me. I'll see you home. <laughs> I may have said she could, she could <laughs> go back to the palace, Jack. I don't mean you won't be needed here. All right, lover, what have I got to do? <laughs> I've written it all down for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, suppose I'd better get started, then. <laughs> all right, Daisy. All right, I will cue you in a minute. <laughs> Oh my God, there is a lot of audience here today. Yes. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. 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 I think my ear is going, I think my ear is going, I think I'll have to go and check it out. Who <laughs> so uh, could do better than that? Hello. 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 Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Salad and this is Daisy, our lovely family. family. <laughs> In fact, could you all do me a favour? I just need to pop into the dairy for five minutes. If you could all do me a favour and watch out, watch her for me while I go to the dairy, that would be fantastic. <laughs> but first of all, I think we need to practice. Uh, um, after three, I want you to shout, Simon! Really loudly so you can hear, so then if she moves, let me know. Okay, that'd be good. But first, I think we need to practice. Okay. After three, three, two, one.
just think about what we're going to do. Those two awful people will be back demanding money. You know, they keep paying the milk bill. <coughs> we haven't got any milk in them. Has anybody got any ideas? <laughs> <laughs>
So like. But it's still that's gold. But he shall see that bees can be more precious far than diamonds are. Great, you really get down with it. Now I feel that's all the British Dinkies in order. Coming. Can it be hot chocolates with marshmallows? <coughs> He doesn't know it yet. You just got to put it in the right direction. Now, if you could give me a hand, put it in this close on. <laughs> and it's an old woman gathering wood. What in this weather? <coughs> <coughs> I can't be bothered with this. Now then, young man, uh, this damn music I can see growing next to your house. I think it solved all of your problems. There could be a few sticky patches, but a bright young lad like you, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, but that sounds like a daft idea. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm just a dust woman. I'm your fairy godmother. <laughs> and if you don't get climbing, we're going to lose an essential part of the pot. Right? Is this situation it's? Sorry, <laughs> usually traditional for the fairy to give a hurt hero a sword, but I'm not a great fan of bloodshed. So here's a pot of pepper instead. You said. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm not sure you're fine to use it. But you said. Oh, for goodness sake, just get on with it. What is about
Mildred, Mildred, what in the hell is going on down there?
have got everything under control. <laughs> There's really no need to shout like that, my boy. It's enough to frighten any by you making all that noise. Oh, sorry, it just goes on job. Yoo-hoo! Did somebody <laughs> knock? <laughs> oh, your kingliness! He's come back. How lovely to see you! Who caught with a boy yet? <laughs> well, get on with it. I'm very hungry. Ha, ha, ha. 
the premises belonging to Mildew and Grumble Guts PLC, is that correct? <laughs> well then could you explain to me why you have been permitting persons without the necessary safety equipment and training to ascend and descend said beanstalk? Oh, well, I can't explain everything, it's just kind of like... <laughs> well I hope you can. I shall require you to accompany me to my office where we shall discuss the matter further. And I must warn you, there's a considerable amount of paperwork attached <laughs> to such a breach of the regulations and that all of it must be completed in triplicate. We may be some time. In the meantime, I have no option but to close this access point until further notice. There it is. Danger. Now let's get going. Come on. <laughs> Well, uh, I can't really see 
any problem with uh, all <coughs> congratulations of course what is achievement when they are double celebrate their flower of something has this evening but now seems good as a time as any thank you Arnold for coming by bye <laughs> <laughs> Joe be a good chap and run up to the palace then tell them her feast be there for a king. <coughs> that well fit right rather well, even though I do say it myself. Now, Snowflake, be a darling and go fetch now a little bit before he disappears. Don't worry about it, Bold. I am sure you'll make a great fairy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, just do as you told me. <laughs> How can I help you? How does the fairy lifestyle appeal to you? What? <laughs> You're a juggler and I need a new apprentice. These days are passed with light colours and I'm going into the exciting field of two fairy work, which means I have an ugly. If it makes sense, really. I'm not really sure. Jolly good. That's settled then. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning to start your training. Well. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Lord. I'm sure you'll make a great fairy.
Thank <laughs> you. 